one always strives to fulfill their needs. Apparently, our unlimited needs have to face the limited resources. It makes scarcity exist. From this condition, people have to decide what to produce, how to produce, and for whom do we produce it. Economy has come from a long journey. In the beginning of time, people hunt to stay alive. As time passes by, people begin to live hunting and start to grow crops and breed livestock. As time goes by, people realize that they need job specialization. For example, clothes are produced in industry by tools. In the 18th century, the first industrial revolution began. This was marked by the invention of steam-powered machine, which machine replaced traditional tools to produce textile products. In the early of 20th century, the second industrial revolution, steam was being replaced by electricity. This leads to mass production of cars and assembly line requiring laborers. The third revolution industry resulted in automated production using electronics and IT. In this era, where everyone calls industry revolution 4.0, we are at the edge of bright new technologies. An era where human is not the main focus anymore. and all of the labor work are being done by what is called artificial intelligence. On another hand, human beings are controlling the AI behind the curtain, programming and maintaining the process of the AI. Industry 4.0 is the era of digitalization. This affects human life in many ways, especially in the economic sector. One of the examples that is pretty obvious is that we don't need money in physical or tangible form. We can replace that conventional money using e-money. In this modern and fast world, Industry 4.0 also creates new system where we can buy something which is a single click on the internet. There are a lot of e-commerce such as Alibaba, Amazon, and Tokopedia. We don't need to go to shopping mall wasting our time and energy. Indonesia is also becoming a part of this Industry 4.0. There are a lot of online-based companies such as Gojek, Shopee, Bukalapak, and other stuff. Those millennial companies start to become part of youngsters' lifestyle that can be separated from daily basis. This industry that is rapidly growing forces us to be more prepared for these changes. Are we ready yet? Do we want to be part of these changes? It is our choices.